Hey everyone, my name is Pixel. Welcome back to another indie horror game. Today we've got a game for you called West Grove. Now I'm pretty sure this isn't based on that TV show, but then again, I've never actually seen the TV show. I just know about it. So we're gonna see what we get into. Um, so based on the initial views of it, it's like an it's like an 80s style VHS VHS horror game. Alarm clock, picture, camera box, backpack. Well, things are like really. Uh, there there was no instructions for this. Oh, I have to press E. It is empty. The alarm went off this morning. I still remember the day we took this family photo. My parents are always calling me to invite them to their house. I always tell them I'm out of time. I'm afraid someday the call will be saying their time is up. Is that what this phone call saying right here? Bring the video camera to your eye and press the button. It's all you have to do. Every spontaneous moment, a tweaked nose, or a cheeky expression can be caught forever on video. These days, rigid formality in front of a camera are gone. See it, shoot it, it's as simple as that. There is, however, nothing simple inside the BC-3000. Well, oh, okay. Can I, can I get out of here? It made me press escape to do that. Hello? Hello, it's Jim. What's up? You've done the West Grove filming for me? Not yet, my camera broke. I just bought a new one. This story can make us some good money, you know. If you need to do the usual, get some crazy guy and pay him like five bucks. So he can say that he saw the Bigfoot, a flying saucer, whatever it is this time. Alright, I'm heading there now. As soon as I have all the footage, I will call you back. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye. Alright, so we work for a tabloid. I equipped the backpack. I opened, I changed my clothes. Alright, let's... Hold on. Calendar. Monday, March 4th. Alright, yeah, 1985. What did I say? We're, we're in the 80s, man. Where are we going now? With our big giant camera. Yawn. Shit, what is this place? How long did I sleep? The damn driver dropped me off in the industrial zone. I must be behind the town. The road looks empty. I don't think I'll be able to get a ride here. Well, damn. I guess that means I'm walking. Which direction do I walk in, though? Do I go this way? Nope, I hit an invisible wall. Which apparently means... Wrong way. Do I go in these doors? Factory looks abandoned. The graffiti, on, graffiti on the door is creepy. Alright, I guess... Gotta continue down the road. Through this convenient hole in the fence. Seems to have an entrance. Maybe I can go through the forest to get to town. Well, isn't this convenient? My god, these... These graphics of these trees are kind of weird. They kind of attack me from all kind of sides. Oh, dang. Fork in the road. Which way do we go? All right. Right is right. What was that? Okay, we're not going to worry about what that was. We're just going to keep on trekking. And it's like Little Red Riding Hood going to Grandma's house. Only we are big camera man. Going to the, going to the city. Walking down the woods. Hope we don't run into any bears. Or any mountain lions. Or Bigfoot. We might run into Bigfoot. That would make, what was that? In the midst of my talking, I could swear that I heard some footsteps. Or maybe that was just my imagination. It's getting dark. I better set up camp here. Tomorrow morning I arrive in town to finish filming. <coughs> Didn't you just sleep? I need to... Where did these stumps come from? I need to find some sticks to light the fire. I think I can find some further on. What is this? Lighter. Okay, there's a... Can't equip my flashlight. Alright, looks like I'm looking for some sticks. 
There's some sticks on the other side of the... Uh, nope. Invisible wall. <coughs> Where do I find some sticks? Oh. Now I can go through the bushes. Is that sticks? Nah, that's grass. There's grass, ass, ass grass. Alright, I got some sticks. Let's head on back to the campsite. Let's start this fire. I had to walk through the trees to get there. I still don't know why I'm setting up camp. Like, how far away from the town am I? Now I can rest for a while. I better pack my things inside the tent. Okay. Get the back, get the flashlight back. Okay, I guess I'm not picking up anything. Uh, I'm just, just getting in the tent. That's that's how we camp around here. That's a lot of voices. Who's out there? I don't need to enter the tent now. What do you? What do you? You don't en don't need to enter the tent. You might need your flashlight. But you know what? I guess you just want to go wandering out into the woods. You know, no big deal. Sure wish I could have brought my flashlight with me. Am I just going to sit next to the fire or something? What do I do? It's not here. It must have fallen out of my pocket at the bus stop. What? What must have fallen out of your pocket? I can't concentrate without my cigarette. Then get my flashlight and go there real quick. At least I'll, it'll be used for something. Th this game gives very little direction, I'm going to say. It's a lovely night. A lovely night for somebody to get lost in the woods. Especially and hear strange voices. What is this? <laughs> did, I, did I find a glitch in the texture? Or is this a portal to another dimension? We're just gonna chalk that up as a portal to another dimension. That's just it's just an invisible wall that what was that? That was just a bear. Which you know wouldn't be scary at all. You know, walking to a bear or Bigfoot. Hi? <laughs> are, are you following me? Who are you? Uh, okay, okay, we're just, I'm just gonna ignore that. Wait, what the hell? Take the wrong way. I'm pretty sure this was the right way. How did that wall get there? Looks like some newspapers pasted on it. Well, what do... It's newspaper and some missing persons. April 6, 1932. Missing since December 14, 1931. 17-year-old student Helen Baker disappeared three months ago. The police found her dress yesterday morning without any rips or marks within which indicates that she took it off herself. Alright, March 18, 1932. Volunteer searches find no trace of Thomas Lewis. Local Dairyfield police believe that the man fled on account of some gambling debts. Thomas' family does not believe this version. Oh, really? They don't They don't believe it, huh? October 28, 1932. Distrust and fear spread through Dairyfield. It's illegible. Do I have to read all the papers? Missing. Henry Simmons, 13 years old, black hair, brown eyes. That looks a little... Now... It might be an age progressed picture, but that looks like an adult. That does not look like a 13 year old right there. January 22nd, 1933. Several residents are moving out of Dairyfield. A debate rages at Town Hall to decide the town's future. Missing. Illegible. Well, damn. Looks like this way is blocked off. Looks like I'll have to find another way. I must have missed it. Damn, I'm starving. I better try to find my way back to camp and get something to eat. Hey, that, that thing is still there. I, I don't know if that concerns you or not. 
But you have a good day. I'm going to go back to camp. La -da -dee, la -da -da. I'm walking through the forest, nothing's weird's going on, trying to get to my camp, cause I need something to eat, I'm not gonna worry about the weird line on the ground, because that probably shouldn't be there in the first place, la da dee, la da da, I need some food, going back to camp, it must be just a coincidence that all these people have gone missing. Hey, I've made it back to camp. That must automatically mean I'm safe. <laughs> Thank God I managed to find the camp. I hope my lunch is still in my backpack. Lunch? Lunch, but it's it's not that. What are you eating for lunch? Do, uh, do I eat it in my tent? I don't need to enter the tent now. Your lunch is uh, what looks like it's looks like a pop tart. Oh no, it's bread. Put the peanut butter on the bread. This forest is kind of creepy at night. I think I might go a little further and do some filming for Jim. You know, I think that's a bad idea. You know, I think Jim should probably get his own footage. Because you know the whole missing persons posters. The weird noises and whatever that thing was looked like a looked like a statue or something. What am I? What am I trying to film? Do I film? Is a UFO gonna fly overhead? Do I have any ups? I have no ups. I I can't bypass that fence. Nothing for me to film over there. Oh, look, it's a path. I did not see this path before. Let's just loop around. There certainly is more grass around here. Oh, it's getting thick in these woods. Oh, this is beautiful. This is just gosh darn beautiful. You know, what a, what a nice abandoned house. And we're going to do the classic horror game thing. We're going to... Go in this house. Because you know, February 2nd, 1933, town of Dairyfield on the brink of bankruptcy. Blah, 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 blah. Mayor Frank Barnes declined an interview. I wonder why. Nothing interesting. No, nothing interesting. I call bull crap on that. You're in a creepy ass house that you wandered into for God knows what reason door stuck maybe I can film something through the keyhole what's in the keyhole it's hard to see anything doors a little cracked I can see the hinge on the side too maybe I can unscrew it somehow what what hinge no can't see nothing Maybe I can see the hinge on that side too. Maybe I can unscrew it somehow. Maybe this is useful. A hanger. No. We, we know that you can't see anything through the keyhole. Oh. We found a strange wall. And behind this strange wall, we found a screwdriver. This is a weird picture. I can't identify what that would be, but it will surely bring a lot of audience to Jim. Old paper. She locked me here now because I managed to escape from the basement. I heard Ralph calling me, but it was the scarecrow. I think she can see through its eyes. I tried to find my way to the town, but the forest seems different every minute, and the night never seems to end. I found this screwdriver behind the house. It's my only hope to get out of here alive. So, uh, did you make it? Did, did you make it? Alright! We did it! But did we want to? Clock is not working. I am so uncomfortable. There is, there is no words 
to the uncomfortableness. February 26, 1933, this Sunday, the population rate of dairy field has been updated and is estimated to have dropped approximately 86% since 1932. Mayor Frank Barnes finally speaks out about the case and as a last resort, he reached a consensus to rename the town of dairy field to West Grove in hopes to attract new tourists and residents. Reading that newspaper made that slide, okay? The the cupboard is just a, a fan of the news. Door is stuck. Maybe I can film something through the keyhole. Oh, fuck. Uh, I think we need to get the fuck out. We need to get the fuck out now. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, let's make it back to camp. I think that was something on the side there, but I don't want to look. Did we make it? Did we escape? Oh, shoot. This isn't my campsite. <laughs> uh, can, can y'all excuse me? I need to get by, please. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that was, oh, and that's it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that, uh, that took a turn at the end there. I'm glad to see that some new patrons took, you know, control of my campsite and turned it into their own sacrificial area. That was so, so creepy. That was weird. It had my skin crawling, but man, that was good. They really built up the tension in that just all the way to the end. And it got me. It definitely got me. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed that, by the way. If you, enjoy, if you enjoyed what you saw as much as I did, feel free to like the video. If you want to see more content like this, be notified whenever new videos come out, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I can guarantee you there's a whole lot more where this came from. If you want to play this game for yourself, I will have a link down in the description below. Again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.